What's up, everyone? And welcome to the continuation of the D&D themed Halloween decoration DIYs. Today, I am going to be making Gibbering Mouther Slime. If you did not see my video on how to make a lovely Gibbering Mouther dice bag, then you can do that uh, in case you don't feel like doing that. A gibbering mouther is this mass of liquefied matter made up of its victims. The victims of the gibbering mouther just gibber along incoherent madness because they've been driven mad by being absorbed into this monster. Now you might have noticed that I have a few favorite D&D monsters. Among my favorites are beholders. Obviously this is our zombie beholder hand puppet can also be used as a Halloween decoration, by the way. Avalets are pretty sweet. I also love elithids along those lines. And I'm a big fan of driders and of course, gibbering mouthers. So here we are. Once a gibbering mouther senses its prey, it starts to gibber with the cacophony of many gibbers and screams, and it just goes after its prey and it leaves nothing left. It absorbs everything, including the eyes and mouth, which then become part of itself. And the victim then joins in the insanity of gibbers, and this harmony is created. Let's get started. So, I still don't really know how to make slime. I know a little bit more. I know that you shouldn't put tons of borax in. You might want to check out my Yafit slime video if you're interested in knowing how I learned that. We're going to use some water. We're going to use some borax, we're going to use some craft glue, a bowl. I found these teeth, they're a bit big, we'll see how it goes. I also found these eyes and some googly eyes and some food coloring that we're going to use to color the gibbering mouther. We're going to start by putting glue in this bowl. I had more glue, but I don't know what happened to it. And I really don't think this is going to be enough, but, you know, you got to work with what you got, I guess. Especially with, like, the big teeth and eyes. But these are kind of slimy, so that might work out. We'll see. Okay. I think that's all the glue we're going to get out unless we sit here for forever. I'm going to just put a little bit of this in. And I don't... I know you're supposed to put water in at some point. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do that now or not. Start with that. We're going to put some red food coloring in and some blue. Maybe I should lower the camera so y'all can see what's going on. Okay, so we got some borax in. We got some blue and red and I added some green too. I'm going to add a little more. Uh, that's what we got there. And now I'm going to stir it some. I think maybe adding some water first. Okay, let's do that. And then stir it. Do a lot of stirring with our hands because I think that it's much more fun to use your hands than a spoon. This is really looking great. Oh yeah. And as we stir, we can imagine the gibbering mouth are forming. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that's my imitation of when they first sense, when they first sense their prey. Gibbering away, gibbering away. I think we want to do this until it's not so sticky anymore. Go! 
guys, look at the color of this. Isn't it just beautiful? I mean, just look at that gorgeous slime. So beautiful. <laughs> so now we can go ahead and add some eyes, absorbing those people. So I bought these because they are already like slime, and I thought that they would add some fun texture. Some orange ones. Bloop. Bloop. I don't know why, I just feel obligated to say bloop every time I stick an eye in. because we can't have a gibbering mouth or who can't gibber. Then it would just be a, oh, be a mouther. So there wouldn't be any mouths. That would be the saddest gibbering mouth ever. Oops, we'll get that later. I think that there was probably a better there's probably better mouths out there for this, but I don't know where they are. Okay, we'll just put one more in. And then we've accomplished our goal pretty nicely. Uh, it might take a little bit of training to get everything where you want it to go. But <laughs> we're gonna stick these back in there. Come on, eyes. Absorb gibbering mouth. Man, these eyes like don't stick to the slime at all. I think we need a better mix there. You guys will stick. Anyway, so there's what we got. Gibbering mouther. I think that as long as you can get the eyes to stay in, we succeeded pretty well. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial about how to make Mouther slime. If you did enjoy this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, drop a comment, and tune in next week to see how I made this dryer out of a Barbie doll and duct tape and a few other things. I meant to throw that at the camera, but it didn't work. Until then, I'll see you next week.